Good morning, turtle nerds. Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I'm not really sure what we're doing because I just need to get home first and then just start doing stuff. I think we have some turtles to feed. We've got these plants that I loaded up from yesterday to put in the pond. And I think we've got some just, yeah, some general stuff to do. So I'm all loaded up from my cousin's house. I got all my stuff here. Let's get on the road three and a half hours home. Why? 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 Why is the road closed? Let's see how much longer. Of course, it's always something. So let's see how much time is it going to add? 18 more minutes. Oh boy. I couldn't film a fun little montage while driving because that's dangerous. No filming while driving, but I'm home. So I think I'm going to relax, make sure all my turtles are not drowning. Um, and then get my plants and like maybe eat something first. It's like one o'clock. I'm hungry. Out of fear of things going wrong, I basically just ran around the house and checked on all the turtles outside and all the turtles in my room and everyone's okay. So I'm gonna chill for a minute, eat lunch, and then we have a lot to do. We've gotta feed the turtles in my room. We need to change some water out. I think maybe we'll move some babies today. Maybe these guys 100% need to be fed. Like definitely the spotted turtles need to be fed down there. They will be moved to there probably tomorrow. We need to clean this or add water to it or something because it's starting to get dry for butternut. And I took the heat lamp from the last baby left that's going out Monday because Pancake needed it more than um, this little guy. Uh, let's, I'm just gonna go through and feed everyone now. All right, kiddos, come here. Time for y'all to eat. How many turtles do I have? Wait, five. There's five, okay. Yeah, they could probably all eat together. That's fine. And then I threw some pellets right there for the spotted turtles. Those should sit there and soften. And then by the time they find them, they'll be ready to eat. And then I threw in, see the little baby turtle right there. The little baby terrapin is eating some little omega one sticks that I threw in. And now while the turtles are eating, I want to take my tubs of plants and take them to the backyard. And now to avoid the leaves, well, to prevent the leaves from wilting any more than they already are, I want to blast them with a little water. Can I do this one-handed? Get a little bit up in there. The odds are that these leaves will die regardless. And then what grows from the tubers and the roots is what will be new growth and what I will rely on to provide shade open here. All right, who is done? Of course, Blondie's done, of course. All right, that's it, that was quick. Everyone's fed and my plants are out back, awesome. All right, all right, that's it. This little tub, it was nice and all, but it's time to upgrade these little baby spotted turtles. This this tub without the filter is just not, not doing well, not as nearly well as I would like. So we're gonna go ahead and move those little guys into this little tank. Now, this is not exactly how I wanted to end up doing this video. I really wanted to make this like a full, beautiful planted tank, get new driftwood, all that fun stuff. But for the time being, I'm just gonna do a fat water change on this tub, probably pull out some of the guppies and um, move a lot of the sphagnum moss and stuff from there up into here and make it like a nice, nice little spotted turtle house. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that filter necessarily on there because I feel like it's kind of powerful, but I don't know, we'll see. So I'm going to just time lapse this all because this is gonna be fun. Let's go. And of course, this is turning into a huge project. Um, I took out this whisper filter because I didn't like how much flow and splash it was making. So I switched it out with that little internal filter. I think that's like an Aquion 40i, something like that. And I have the water nice and shallow because we do not want more freaking drowning turtles. And spotted turtles are known to drown. They're not very strong swimmers, as I've mentioned before. Even this is kind of high up. And the only reason that I'm okay with it is because of all the wood and decorations that I have in there for them to climb up to get a breath of air. So now I'm gonna take some of their sphagnum moss and I'm gonna add it to the enclosure. Hopefully I can replace this at some point, there are the two babies there, with um, some nice 
real live plants. So now I'm just gonna add some sphagnum in there, make something for them to kind of hide and bury in. Um, and then we add the turtles. Okay, so now it's time to add our little spot turtles. Hi, who's this? This is little peanut and little butter will be next. Hi, peanut. And they put on a good little bit of growth, but actually they put on a lot of growth. They were a lot smaller than this before, but we're gonna put one right up here. Let him jump in on his own. Got you, buddy. Oh, hi, baby. Let's get you up in your new setup. Let's check them out. There they go. And they're gonna jump in, probably in a little bit, and go exploring their new little habitat. Come on, jump. Woo! There goes little Peanut, exploring the new habitat. Oh, that is so cool. Oop. There he goes. Yeah, look, there goes Peanut right behind there. Down into the depths. Already chasing some baby fish. Awesome. I'm hoping that these guys might be able to uh, take care of our fish population in here a little bit. I'm hoping to get some little shrimp in here as well for them to eat. There's all kinds of little stuff. All right, I'm gonna let these guys settle in and go outside and plant some of those lotuses. I have to plant those lotuses, but I need to go get some planters, like in order to actually plant them, and I also need gravel to put them in. Um, so I'm just gonna go run around to a couple stores real quick, grab some gravel, grab some of those planters, see which ones I can find and make, and get back here, make them all, and then get in the pond and place them all. Let's hope I can do this in time, because it looks like it's gonna rain. Oh, we still have a bunch of garbage from the original trip. Oh lord, I need to unpack all this. No time. Uh, I'm at the hardware store, hopefully to get some gravel and maybe some planters. Look who's next to me. There's, there's a freaking Squirtle. There's a Squirtle next to me. <laughs> Whose car is that? I need to befriend them. I just had to rush home because I forgot that I'm selling something for my parents. It's this, it's a mattress and someone's coming to pick it up. So, oops, they're here right now. This is totally them. This is 100% them. Goodbye. Well, they were super nice. I love nice people. So now, I mean, while we're home, we might as well. Oh, look at, look at that little face. Is somebody alive? Hi, he's been relaxing under this blanket. Oh, he's been so cute. So we're gonna soak him again for 10 or 15 minutes today and give him another round of antibiotics tomorrow. Let's see how you're doing. Oh, is somebody a big bad turtle? How we looking? Those legs look a little mangled, but here you go, buddy. We're gonna leave you for just a couple minutes to grab a drink, and then I'm gonna keep dry docking you for probably another you know, one to two days, maybe three. I'm so surprised that he's gonna pull through. You're on life number three, buddy. Go ahead and take a drink. I'm gonna step away, that way he's not nervous with me hovering over him. And um, yeah, good, good little pinky. See how he's dipping his nose down in the water? Oh, and see his little throat going? He's taking drinks. Look, you could see it, that's really cool. Uh, hello? <laughs> hello? Hey, mister. Want a snack? Hey, little Rudolph looking turtle. Okay, I guess not. So after soaking for a little bit, Pancake was showing some, he was doing some weird stuff with his back legs, like how Flipper would raise herself when she was egg bound or when I administered the oxytocin. And I made sure that I didn't screw up and accidentally give Pancake oxytocin instead of antibiotics, which would have been bad. So in order to test how his lungs are doing, um, and if there's any fluid in them or anything like that, we're gonna see how he handles depth. Um, and how he swims. So I'm gonna take him real quickly. Easy, buddy. And just see how he handles this. Oh, awesome. Okay, do you see what he's doing there with his uh, tail? Oh, but other than that, oh, I think he's just hurting from uh, where the pump pulled, pulled his legs. It seems to me he's just hurting from that. See what he does there? See, see that? Where he pulls, look, look, look. Yeah, see, he's agitated his, uh, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, something's agitating him then. Hi, buddy. You want out? Okay. Hi, turtle nerds. So it is about to pour rain. It is thundering and lightning. So I'm not gonna go swimming in the pond. Rather, I just filled up the tubs that the lotuses and lilies are in. That way, you know, they should be able to last just fine. 
So anyway, I just made sure to get everything wet and in the tub and the lilies are in some water and that's it. So I'm glad that we got done what we got done. I'm excited to do that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.